Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Otter Light by Creality. I have never used a 3D scanner before, but I just got this today and I have already scanned the front of this car. Let me show you. This just arrived from outer space. Oh no, it does it right there. From the future. I got it. Creality Otter Light. So I am literally on the road at an Airbnb with this 3D scanner. I have never seen one in person. I'm gonna see if I can make this thing work today. And all I have with me is my laptop. So let's dive in. So it comes in a kind of hard shell travel case. That's pretty awesome. I just paid some solid money for travel cases for some of my other equipment that I have on the road. So it's nice to have. What do you think, dog? Pumped? So your calibration board for this here doohickey. In bag number one, we have tracking dots, two different sizes, warranty card that indicates one year warranty, USB adapter, don't drop it, hand holder device. This is quite large and I hope it's useful because I have no idea how to use a 3D scanner, but I'm pretty excited about learning it. And if I can figure it out, so can you. Ta-da! Viola. This all feels pretty substantial. So out of the box, the setup was extremely simple. I downloaded the software, I opened it up, and I just followed the instructions on the screen. It's got pictures and text for those of us that don't understand one or the other. Just follow along and they will have you scanning in no time. They really did set this up to be easy. So I've loaded the software here and it seems pretty straightforward. So there are three ways to scan with the Otter Light. The first one is directly connected to your computer. That's kind of the most straightforward, so we're gonna start right there. Yeah. So we're gonna try to scan this little owl guy that comes with the scanner just to see if we can get any results whatsoever. At this point, I just followed the instructions right on the screen inside the program, named the file, picked a place to save it, looked at the parameters. If you hover over the parameters, it gives you a description of the differences in each one. Couldn't really get simpler. All right, let's just see how this goes. We're gonna hit the play button just like it says. That should start our scanning. It says I'm too close. Good, it's giving me live feedback on the screen right now. You just wanna keep it in the green optimal zone apparently. I just keep doing this till the whole model is green. I'm trying to show you here too. It's giving me LED colors right here as I change my distance, which is really cool. That means I'm too close. As soon as I get to green, it's telling me that's where I want to be. That's pretty awesome. So we're out of the box something like 15 minutes and we've already got a scan, which is really neat. The instructions are extremely simple to follow. Never having my hands on one of these before, I got something out of it. So let's do the one click process. Sure. All right, so I'm barely getting started and I have my first scan in. I'm now just messing around with this software. I've never used it before, but it's got instructions on the screen. So, all right, you learn, it's not that hard. All right, I don't need to go through the process of really cleaning this model up, but we have a model, which is pretty cool. So right out of the box, we were able to use this thing with the software provided to scan this little dude that came with it. And it was pretty successful because all of this was really intuitive. Now I don't know what to do with the scan of this thing yet, but it's kind of like a hammer, right? I think I'm gonna learn how to use it and it's pretty simple to use, but it may take a while to get good at it and learn all the ways that you can apply it. So we're gonna move on to phase two. We're gonna use the light bridge that came with it all right, so this time around, I got my phone connected. So this is option number two. There's direct connect through USB to your computer, and then you can scan directly to your phone. So it says, so we've got the app set up. Just follow the instructions. We're gonna try to start a scan of the exact same thing. So it is actually pretty cool. It gives you instructions right there on the screen. Go closer, out of distance. And there you got it. That's pretty wild. I don't even know what to say. It just works. Done. All right, for this last little test, I have the computer rig set up to be wireless. We're outside. The phone is the display. We're just going to see what we can get of this 79 Camaro. I'm not even going to wipe the leaves off it. All right. 
Again, this is my first time ever using one of these things. I've never even seen one in person until today. So. I would say it's going pretty well. It's actually really intuitive. You can tell when it's got the green flurry of dots, it's scanning just fine. When they turn red, it's lost its place, but you go back to some geometry it already knows and start moving again. See the little tracker on the left-hand side? He's trying to stay in the good section. Again, I'm not doing any of this right. There's methods to make this go way better with tracking dots and all kinds of stuff, but I just decided to see what it would do and it's doing pretty great. While this thing may seem very techy and complicated, the software and the setup are extremely intuitive and helpful. I just followed the instructions and the prompts and I was scanning in no time. I used all three setups today. I used the USB, I used the phone scanning, and I used the wireless scanning. The wireless scanning is awesome. You're not dragging stuff around. I was able to walk all around the car without dragging a cable, which was totally awesome. This thing is designed to be accurate within 0.05 millimeters, scan objects between 20 millimeters and 2000 millimeters, and as just our really simple test proves, it is scanning metallic and black objects without the use of a powder or a spray or tracking dots. Obviously those things may help get a more accurate scan, but the fact is it was doing it without any additional help. You can take it right out of the box and use it with no prior knowledge, no skill set needed, but much like a hammer, the more you use it, the better you're going to get at it and the better your results are going to be. This thing is available for purchase as of May 7th. The price is going to be $759, but there is an early bird special price of $699 if you're into this type of thing. Scanners used to be 10 grand and now there's quite a range. $759 is not inexpensive, but it is a very, very powerful tool for that price. And like I said, very user-friendly. So the limit's basically your imagination. Hope you find this helpful. And if so, uh, check back in, because we're going to put this thing to work in a couple of what I think are hopefully very interesting ways. We'll see you next time on Between the Sharks.